I'm from the wellbeing team. My name is Yvonne McAdam. I share this very important role with my colleague Lauren Tubby. Um, she looks after the safeguarding side of the role, which is very much about keeping your young people safe, um, which might sound obvious, but there's a quite a lot that goes into that. So I'll just give you a quick run through of some of the initiatives that we have in place. Um, we have eSafe software on all of our computers across the college and laptops that we loan out to um, students who may be vulnerable or particularly during lockdown might not have had access to IT. Um, this software picks up any um, concerning words or phrases that we might want to flag up to our achievement coaches, who my colleague Alex will speak about in a bit more detail later. Um, we also have a number of currently online enrichment sessions. Um, we've been doing Prevent this week, which is all around um, British values and ensuring that our young people don't get involved in any kind of terrorism or extremist um, behaviour. Um, we have a um, system to report abuse and bullying. So all of these things, although it's kind of the, the less exciting side, if you like, it's the side that's obviously really important to make sure that you feel your young people are safe when they're with us. So the side of the role that I look after in the wellbeing team is around enrichment, students union and mental health. So my colleague um, Will looks after all of the sport and online enrichment, which we're hoping from September will be um, a lot more face to face. Um, we're a member of AOC Sport, which is the Association of Colleges, um, and this allows us to get involved in lots of um, national and regional sports competitions, um, as well as our Freshers event, which is every year. Um, this year, 10th of September, we'll be welcoming all of our students um, to come and get involved in the enrichment opportunities at the college and learn a little bit more about the wellbeing team overall. Um, Students Union is looked after um, by my colleague Liam. He, um, well, we're currently eagerly awaiting the results of our election, which has been running all week, um, to see who our new student president is and the associated roles with that. So um, there's a wellbeing role, a um, inclusion and diversity role, a number of others um, to make sure that our students are really getting involved in the college, feeding back to us what's important to them, helping us to improve our services to them. Um, and they're always our for first port of call when we have questions about you know, what they might enjoy or what they're, they're looking forward to and what we can help them improve. Um, that's involved in a number of different things. We've been talking to MPs about the development of the Broadmarsh Centre. Um, we've been involved in social action groups. We have a lot of clubs and societies, including the Green um, Society and LGBT group. Um, so there's loads going on that your young people can get involved in and we really um, enjoy that kind of interaction with them and we've really missed them over the last year when we've not been able to see them quite so much face to face, but there's been a lot of online activity. Um, and then finally, in the wellbeing team, we also look after students' mental health, which has obviously been a hot topic of discussion um, this year in particular. Um, we hold online uh, wellness cafes at the moment twice a week. Again, like I say, we're going to try and hopefully get those face to face by September. Um, we also offer face to face support through a process called fitness to study or support to study. Um, my colleague Alex will speak about that a bit more, but it very much involves our achievement coaches who provide the pastoral support for our students. Students. Um, and it's a way of offering kind of real wraparound support for those students who might be struggling. Um, we look at what supports in place already and what more we can offer, um, whether that's external um, counselling or groups that we can offer in college that might kind of encourage them to feel um, comfortable and fit and well and be able to achieve. Um, the achievement coaches and tutors can also make adjustments to work if that would help um, the young person to achieve better. And the links that we have with um, mental health support organisations externally are really strong and we can always um, encourage our students to get in touch with them and find which one would be best for them, depending on what situation it is that they're in and what would be most appropriate for them. We're also um, a member of the uh, Association of Colleges Health and Wellbeing Charter. We're working towards um, being able to achieve that accreditation very soon. And part of that is um, enabling our mental health first aid trained staff who we've got almost 50 of now across the college 